Okay. So we have here our unit circle. We use this to find the exact value of our special angles. We have here 30, 45, 90, 60, 120, up to 360. And yung katumbas niya na radian, if we have 30 degrees, ang katumbas is pi over 6. 45, katumbas niya pi over 4. And we know that x coordinate is for the value of cosine, then y coordinate is for the sine. So let's say we have sine 150. What will be the value? One half. Kasi yun yung value ng y. Reyes, if you have 330, what is cosine 330? Is it the square root of 3 over 2 or negative 1 half? Kolanta. Negative 1 half. Negative? 1 half. Negative 1 half. Ano ang basis ni Brent? Ay, 1 half pala. Negative 1 half. Negative 1 half ba si cosine? Hindi. Jarvan. Square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. Cosine. 330. So, ito. Now, ang tanong ngayon, what if we have cosine 105 degrees? Ayan. Cosine 105. Nandito ba siya? Wala. So, anong gagawin natin? Isosolve na natin siya. So, we have here the sum and difference identities. Ito naman yung gagamitin natin kapag hindi perfect angle yung given. Wala na dun sa ating pizza doon sa unit circle. Okay? Hindi siya kasama. Hindi siya perfect slice. So, cosine 150, we have here the cosine family if the given function is cosine. So, we have here the symbol alpha and this is for beta. Beta and alpha. So if you have cosine quantity alpha plus beta, that is equal to cosine alpha times cosine beta minus sine alpha times cosine beta. And if you have the difference of alpha and beta, this will be the equation that we're going to use. And for the sine family, sine quantity alpha plus beta. So we have sine alpha times cosine beta plus cosine alpha times sine beta. Then kapag subtraction, subtraction naman din yung gagamitin natin. So pagkaiba niya, pag dito, minus, plus. Pero cos cos sin c. Ah. Para may mali dito. This must be cos sin sin cos. Cos, cos, this must be sine. Cos, cos, sin, sin. Ano yung ilagay ko? So, check mo natin. Paano mo kayo? Sir, sin, 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 sin. Cos, cos, sin, sin, tama, di ba? So, dapat ito ay? So, yung taas or sin din? Sin dapat to, sine. Then, ito ay sine. Ayan. Cos, cos, sin, sin, ito naman. Sin, cos, cos, sin. Ayan. Then, for the tangent family, tangent alpha plus beta, ito po yung gagamitin na. So, let's try to solve cosine 105. Iisip tayo ng dalawang perfect angle na ang sum niya or difference is 105. So, ano kaya? Dalawang number pag pinag-add mo, 105. 16, 45. Jervan? 16, 45. 60 and 45. So, cosine 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So, verify natin. 60 perfect, 45 is a perfect number. Now, kunin na natin siya. Ito ay magiging plus yung ginamit natin. So, plus po yung gagamitin natin. So, ito yung katumbas niya. Cosine 60 times cosine 45 minus sine 60 
then sine 45. Nagkuha nyo? Okay. Saan ang galing si 60? Ito po siya. 60, tapos 45. 60, 45. Again, representation lang po si alpha and si beta. Nakuha yun? Now, puro na tayo special. Special angles. Kunin natin yung value ni cosine 60. So, balik tayo sa split natin. Punta kay 60. We're looking for the cosine. That is 1 half. So, we have 1 Cosine 45. What's the pizza? 45. Over. Square root of 2 over. Square root of 2 over. Minus. Sine 60. 60. Square root of 3 over. Square root of 3 over. Sine 45. Square root of 2 over. So, class, tandaan natin, kapag 45, 45-90 yung angle, lagi siyang square root of 2 over 2. Magdidepende na lang sa sign. Now, multiply 1 times square root of 2, square root of 2 over 2 times 2, minus square root of 3 times square root of 2, square root of 6 over Bakit 4? 2 times 2. Similar fraction, they have the same denominator. This will become square root of 2 over square root of 6. Then just copy. That is now the value of cosine 105. Paki-verify po sa calculator. Dapat yan ang lalabas. Pacheck. Cosine 105, dapat tama. Tama? Ayan. So, at advantage, kapag pwedeng mag-calcube, bibigay ka agad. Pero what if hindi pwede mag-calcube, we need to follow the sum and difference identities. Now, another example, sine 15. Anong dalawang number pag pinag-add or subtract natin will give us 15? 45 and 30. May narinig akong 10-5. Is it valid? 10-5? Bakit? Yes. Be careful. Dapat nasa special angle yung numbers natin. So 10 and 5 is not valid. So, ano gagamitin natin? Minus tayo. Sign. Pwede. 60 minus 45. Or pwede din namang 45 minus 15. Yun na lang. 45 minus 30. 60 minus 45. Pwede din naman. So, dapat pareha sa isa. Now, we have the sine family, sine subtraction, so ito po yung gagamitin natin. We have sine 45 degrees, cosine 30 degrees, minus cosine, cosine 45 degrees, then sine 30. So, pag nasulat na natin, punta sa unit circle, then find the value of the special angle. 45, square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 30, and have si 30, we have square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. Minus, 45 ulit, Square root of 2 over 2. Sine 30, 1 half. Ready na tayo mag-multiply? We have 
square root of 2 times the square root of 3 square root of 6 over 2 times 2 4 minus square root of 2 times 1 over and for the final answer copy the denominator that is 4 square root of 6 minus square root of 2 but double check sa calcul natin Tama? Tama. So, in short, ano mapapansin nyo sa sagot natin? Almost magkamuka. No? So, kahit mag-solve tayo ng hindi special angle, possible na magkamuka din yung sagot natin. Kasi, yung mga values naman natin dito sa unit circle, sila-sila lang dito. So, possible makukuha natin yun at yun. Now your turn. Try nyo nga to. Tangent. Tangent. One hundred five degrees. And cosine. Anong number pa ang pwede natin kumulay? Yes. 100. May 120. 120 is perfect. 110, may dalawa ba tayong number na special pag pinag-add is 110? Ilan? Bigay na number. 120 is perfect. One thirty five is perfect. One thirty, but one thirty, I don't know what the long number is. So thirty. Thirty, and we have thirty. Special. I think I add. 270? 270? 270? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170? 170